So based on how Michael Saylor recommended we value his own company, today MicroStrategy share should be between $603 and $1,650 per share. Let's see exactly where these numbers come from. Um, so let's dig. In the Q3 2024 earnings call, Michael Saylor has spent around five minutes explaining how he recommends analysts value the MicroStrategy share. Um, let's now look at exactly what he said, and then I'll digest it into little pieces and play with the numbers. We do this. Now, um, <clears throat> I'm going to wade into the, to the big premium debate here, like what's the appropriate premium for net asset against net asset value of MicroStrategy, and I just want to make one obvious point. We're a growth company. We're a Bitcoin treasury company, and we are growing. We are built on an asset, Bitcoin, which is growing 50% a year, and we are, and we are growing with that asset. <clears throat> if, you, <clears throat> if you review the market for common multiples of growth companies, if you had a 20% growth company, oftentimes they're valued at 25 times 40, uh, 25 to 40 P to E. If you have a 30% growth company, oftentimes they're valued at 35 to 55 P to E. If you have a 40% growth company, they're valued at 45 to 70 sometimes. And a company growing 50% is oftentimes valued at 60 to 100x. And of course, Bitcoin's growing 50%. Um, you know, we don't know what it'll do in the future, but you know, my personal long-term view is over 21 years, Bitcoin's going to grow 29% ARR. And looking backward, it's definitely been growing fast, 50% every year for four years. So, you know, how do you think about the value of the BTC, the Bitcoin treasury operations, right? Not, not the balance sheet, not the, not the reserves, but what, what's the operation worth? And, you know, if you expect 30 to 50% growth for Bitcoin, then it's not unreasonable to have a 30 to 50 x multiple for that growth and a 30 30 x to 50 x multiple means if you were to look at uh, at this six to ten percent target 30 30 times 10 is a 300 percent premium to net asset value 50 times 10 is a 500 percent premium so you're talking about an operation that's three to five net asset value and if you tack on the actual treasury you know, you go from there and you realize you're talking about an enterprise that could be 80 to 100 billion dollars. And you could establish it just by looking at this and realizing it. These are not UST bills that we're holding on our balance sheet. If you had, um, if you had a U.S. Treasury bill that was growing 0% a year, you would multiply it times 20 in order to get, uh, in order to get a right multiple. But Bitcoin's growing more than 0% a year, so 20x 20 20 is probably um, conservative. So that's one way to approach it. Another way to approach it is just look at the BTC gain, and that is what's really happening here. When we have a 5% BTC yield in the quarter, that's the same as acquiring 12,500 Bitcoin for our shareholders without dilution. That's like 50,000 Bitcoin on an annualized basis. That's like a $3.6 billion annualized BTC gain. If you had a $3.6 billion annualized gain and you put a 30 to 50 multiple on it, you've all of a sudden got an operation that's got a $108 billion to $180 billion value. And then you tack on the other 18 billion for the Bitcoin and you see where you get. You know, it's like the operation six to ten times net asset value plus the reserves. And so now let's digest what he said into little pieces. Right. So he starts by saying that he compares the growth of the Bitcoin yield in MicroStrategy as earnings. OK. And then he compares other companies with a certain growth what price to earnings ratio do they have and how we can translate that into MicroStrategy, okay? So the first learning on what's going on in seller's mind is that um, Bitcoin yield 
is earnings. Okay? And then what he says is when a company grows its earnings 20%, it has a PE between 25 and 40 and so on and so on, up to companies that grow at 50% rates, its PE is between 60 and 100. Okay? Now, the second thing that we learn from the way he thinks is, unlike what most people are doing on social media or the typical regular analysts, where they calculate the MNAV based on the... Um, total market cap of MicroStrategy divided by um, the, 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 the Bitcoin treasury that it owns, he sees it differently. So he divides MicroStrategy into two blocks. So there's one block, which is the Bitcoin treasury, and there's another block, which is, let's call the Bitcoin operation engine, which is the engine that will bring Bitcoin yield into the company. Okay, and he calculates the MNAV just based on the engine, not on the total company, right? So if you imagine something like this, there is a block, which is the Bitcoin that they have today. And there's another block, which is what he calls the operations. So the Bitcoin operations and the MNAV is just based on this. Okay. Now, then he proceeds and he says that there are two ways that he sees the calculation of the value of the, these Bitcoin operations. One way is that you consider a Bitcoin yield of uh, 10%, of 10%, okay? And that's this. And there's a Bitcoin yield of 20%, and that's this piece here, okay? Now, if we put what he said into numbers, this is what we'll get. So in the model where we factor the 10% Bitcoin yield, um, we will get a value between 603 and 902, depending on if you, if you multiply the earnings by 30 or a 50 PE. Now, if you do the same with the 20% Bitcoin yield, you will get a value today between 1,052 and 1,650, okay? Now, let's play with the model so you, that you can see exactly where these numbers come from, okay? So this is the model. Now, in this model, let's see exactly what we have here with the numbers that were at the time of the Q3 2024 earnings call, so the October 30th at the market close. OK, so I'm considering the software business as um, one point five um, billion dollars. The price of Bitcoin was seventy two thousand at the time and MicroStrategy owned only two hundred and fifty two um, thousand Bitcoin. OK, um, this is the number of shares that they had at the time. Now, if I have a Bitcoin yield of 10 percent and then I apply here a price to earnings ratio of 30 or 50, this is the value of the Bitcoin operation as Sailor defines it, okay? And as you can see here, the MNAV, which he talks about in the call between three and five is exactly the number that I get, okay? But this MNAV, remember, is not the MNAV that you're used to, like the total MNAV, it's not that. It's just the MNAV of dividing what is the value of this Bitcoin generation operations engine divided by the total Bitcoin treasuries that the company has today, okay? And you can see the formulas here, which is dividing the value of the engine by the value of the Bitcoin that the company had at the time, okay? Now, at the time, um, this would, 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 um, would gather uh, a, 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 um, a share price between 316 and 471, okay? Now, let's look at today. And the formulas are the same, I'm just, updating the value that we have today, okay? Now today, or at the market close on Friday, December 27th, Bitcoin price was 94,487. MicroStrategy owned 444,000 Bitcoin, okay? And this is the number of shares. Now, if I apply a Bitcoin yield of 10%, it will give me a fair value between 603 and 902. Okay, and again, the MNAV of the Bitcoin generation engine is between three and five. So the numbers add up, okay? 
Now, if I think that the Bitcoin yield is going to be 20%, then applying a PE of 30 or 50, it means that the, 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 the fair value based on seller's assumptions should be between 1,052 and 1,650. Now, this, as you can see, it's a massive... Um, the, the, the stock today is massively undervalued because it closed the market on Friday with $350 per share, while per seller's um, calculations, it should be between 200 and 400% more. Okay, so this is, um, these are the numbers. Um, so what I would like you to, 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 to help me out with is, did I say anything wrong? Do you have a different approach? What did I miss? Um, I'll keep updating these models. This is my second model. I have a few more um, in the pipes being constructed, so I'll keep sharing with the community. I'm not doing this for clickbait or any of that crap. I really want you to help me out in finding mistakes in my thinking um, so that as a MicroStrategy investor, I can sleep well at night and know that um, I own something that will grow and not collapse. So thank you.